Good morning everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. It is such a beautiful, beautiful day. It's calm as calm can be and it's warm, it's sunny, beautiful. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed last week after I finally mentioned please subscribe to my channel. Now I'm just going to have to do that all the time because I think I got about 45 new subscribers which is amazing thank you so much to everyone just to get that bit out of the way please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and all that as i mentioned um everyone who who watches my videos i looked at my analytics and 100 percent who watched um probably only i think it was 34 percent subscribed something like that 66 percent hadn't subscribed so I just thought I'd give it a give it a go and but thank you I had uh, great great comments about our new chairs that we're going to be doing and I'm so glad that you approved because I, I want you to approve the main chairs that are going to be here which are going to be um, in the style of our existing chair over in Fountain Garden which Richard made it was a three-seater bench um, he put new slats on, made it into a single chair, which I absolutely love. Do sit there an awful lot. So he's going to do the same thing with the four chairs, which we got the arms for at Battlesbridge. But you've seen all that, hopefully. I won't go into that. But I will mention that a lot of people are saying, can't wait to see what colour you do the chairs. And I was thinking, oh, I love colour. You know I love colour. And Richard was saying, oh, I think it should be brown or dark grey. So I thought, however, after chatting, I mentioned to him and he's coming round to the idea, everyone. And my great friend, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. We chat all the time. She's encouraging Richard to go for a colour. And another friend, Diane McGowan, she had the same idea I had. She said, wouldn't it be nice if you took one of the ombre colours of the green? I'd thought the exact same thing because we have the yellow chair, we have the teal colour chair. So I think or blue and yellow make green on the colour wheel. So I think it would blend and I'm thinking a green. So I'm trying to get round Richard. But going back to Richard, who is wonderful yesterday, I said to him, Richard, what are you up to today? Because every, he's self-employed, so he does different things every day. And he said, nothing much as yet. So I said, oh, oh, if, if you've not got much on, do you think you could do my woodland courtyard chair? And if you do do that, can you film it for me? And can you move the camera around a bit so the, the shots are a little bit more interesting? And can you smile? So um, I came home and he had done it. So he's done a little film for you, which is about five minutes long of him fixing the woodland courtyard chair. So I'm going to show you that now and then I'll be back with you after. A day after day, I thought. Jeanette dropped so many hints this morning about if you've got nothing to do, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? So anyway, my plan is to repair this chair. Now as you can see there's a lump of wood missing. We're missing a slat there. So Jeanette come up with the suggestion to take this slat off and I can actually use this slat being hardwood to repair this piece. If it works that's another thing but we'll see. You can see the damaged area here and this is slat. So I'm going to Carefully cut this slat out. <clears throat> the idea is to paste that in here. So I'll get a, I'll draw around it and then cut the same piece out if you've got my drift. What I've done is 
put that on there. I've drawn around it so I'm going to cut out exactly the same piece, same shape, should I say. How easy that's going to be, I do not know. But let's give it a go. I could end up dumping this chair. Well done. I've cut a slot out the back there, and that goes over the top, and that'll be clamped in there. It'll be stuck and screwed. So that's that. Now I've got two cater for this, and that is going to go down here. And drill a hole for this. What I'm doing now is a bit of bonding agent. That slides in there. What I need to do now is just put a couple of screws just to hold it in place. That's been pieced in. It's been stuck and screwed. Once it's all gone off, we'll do a bit of filling. A bit of filling. But for a chair, it's going to be outside, which will never be sat on. Um, Yes, you can't make a silk purse out of a pig's ear, but at least it will be usable. Right, more on this later. So here's Woodland Courtyard, my fabulous Woodland Courtyard, which I am adoring. I keep showing it because I'm just delighted. Delighted with what, what's that? What's that doing in Woodland Courtyard? Fern's still looking good from Mark Border. We had a chat today, Mark and I, because I saw on Gardener's World, there was one of the viewers' gardens and it was a sunken fernery. Oh my goodness, it was gorgeous. Um, not something you could copy, unless you have a swimming pool that you take out, I suppose. But what a lovely idea, if you want to get rid of your swimming pool, you could make a sunken garden. Oh, it was lovely. Anyway, let's have a look at the chair. 
And just to recap, these are the chair sides that we are going to use to make the four chairs. For the conversation area, I'm, call, I'm going to call that, we're going to spray paint these black, black gloss. But here's Woodland Courtyard chair that Richard has finished. He's even, bless him, shampered, I think the term is, shampered Lottie, it's been shampered to match this existing. Oh, he's so sweet and he's done all that. So I am going to take that into the garden now and we're going to stain it with the wood stain that I have. This is my cupboard. I'm allowed one cupboard. That piece of glass was the glass that went on the um, old patio furniture. That they haven't come and picked it up. I don't think they want it, but this is my cupboard of paint my treasure trove of paint. Well, I've, I'm allowed the bottom, I think the top bit is car washing stuff. And these are my paints. So I have to keep it tidy, otherwise I get in deep trouble. But you can see I've got spray paints and uh, little bits of pieces. I'm a little lazy Susan. I have load. If anyone wants red, pillar box red paint, I bought a job lot. Interesting, Lottie. Right, let's go and take this outside. Please excuse my washing, but it was too nice a day not to hang my washing out. So let's get this set up and I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to use for Woodland Courtyard chair. Here is my lovely chair. He's done a fantastic job. He's even shampered down, I think that's the term. Shampered, shampered down this edge to match this edge so and these are quite expensive you know because i've seen them for sale like second hand it can be like a hundred pounds each so all i'm going to do i have some of this which is um furniture clinic wood stain natural oak and it says that i should test the stain on an unseen area first we don't need to do you don't need to do that and you just apply liberally with a cloth or a brush in the direction of the grain let it soak for one minute and then wipe the excess off leave it to dry for 10 minutes and then a second coat can be applied if desired and then after staining the wood it should be finished with a varnish oil or wax and i have clear varnish spray which i can use for that See what happens. I suppose I should do the underneath first, that would make the most sense. Okay, let's do it. I think I'll speed the camera up, play a little bit of music. And away we go.
Okay, well, I have given the uh, chair the wood stain. I'm gonna let that dry for 10 minutes. It's just a beautiful day here today. I'm sitting here with a little cup of coffee for 10 minutes. This is my coffee table that I use. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful warm day. You can see over in the distance, I think. Let's zoom in. There's no wind. I can always tell from my wind chimes. It's making the gentlest of sounds. And I've got my fountain on. Richard, I think I said he's in a golf competition. So I'm not sure what time he'll be back. So I thought I'd sit and have a little cup of, cup of coffee. But I'd like to get the chair finished, but all I'm going to do is spray it. I don't think I'll film it. I think that's a bit boring for you. Just have a couple of cans of this. It's just clear lacquer, clear varnish. So I'll spray that. I don't think it needs it, to be honest, but I like to spray everything, everything that doesn't move and isn't alive, such as a plant, gets a spray of varnish. I'm just imagining my chairs there, my other chairs. I do think a nice green would look nice. So I'll come back to you once the chair is all sprayed. So peaceful today. See you in a moment. It's all finished. I have given it a varnish. It's just about dry, I think. So here we are, Woodland Courtyard has its own Woodland Courtyard chair. We are sitting on the chair quite tentatively, just in case it's not quite dry. I think it is, we shall soon find out. But it's gonna be so nice to hide away around this little corner and um, have a cup of tea in the morning or something else a little later in the day. Richard thinks that I won't sit here, so I'm going to sit here, whether I want to or not, just to prove my point. I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. Hope you've enjoyed this video today and I will see you soon. Take care everyone, thank you for watching. Bye.